It's a beautiful day in Ohio, and I'm at Greer MX. This is my 22.5 KTM 450 Factory Edition. I've got about three hours in the bike right now, and uh, this morning I put on my favorite set of forks. These are a set of cone valve forks. They're actually built for a buddy of mine's son back in November of 16. He never used them. My buddy rode them a couple times. I bought them about three and a half years ago, and I've put them on my 19, my 20, my 21 450 Factory Edition. They just work amazing. Factory Connection did the settings. I don't even know exactly what cone is in them and what spring is behind it, but they've got a number on them, so it's easy enough to duplicate it. But these are my favorite set of forks I've had for a long time. I mean, they just work. They got four nine springs. I'm a 190 pound slow guy, and they work perfect for me. The standard settings, 12 compression, 18 rebound. My son's a 165 pound fast guy. He goes in a couple clicks, slows them down a little bit, and they work great for him. I can use them everywhere, and I know a lot of people say, oh, you can't tell the difference in this fancy suspension when you're a slow guy. I feel it in the first 15 feet I ride it. There is such a suppleness to the free, friction-free feel on these, and um, they just work. I can use them in the woods, on the trails, the moto track. I don't touch them, I just bolt them on and go. So I've ridden a moto on them already, and they have not disappointed on this new chassis. We'll just go out for a quick ride. Great bottom end resistance. I mean, as soon as you take off, it's, it's just like the front end is on a magic carpet ride. It's just connected to the ground. You just feel like the tire contact patch is better. I'm not a big MX-33 fan, Dunlop tire, but, but these things still grip good. And I think the forks make a big, big difference on them. Even in the slow trail riding, no problem. Just finds traction, and they just absorb the little chop. And man, do they complement this new chassis. I still have the stock rear shock on. And I just opened up the clickers a little bit more of a comfort setting. So I'm not going real fast and it's kind of choppy today. But the forks, man, I have run these like on three different bikes. Now this is the fourth. Like I said, I'm not touching them. And they are spring. But that setting just works for me. Man, do I like this new engine. We'll jump out onto the track here. Yeah, just the braking bumps disappear, the the little chop, even the slap down, slap down landings, you just don't, they just absorb them so good. Yeah, you just slap down into that hard stuff, no problem. Now I've ridden my air forks here a couple times and while they're adjustable and they work pretty well, there's just no comparison. And I know the cone valve stuff's expensive, but I've had these forks three and a half years and used them. This is my fourth bike I've used them on. They just work. Man, there's a lot of ruts today. It is a little tricky. Oh, the cone valves. Yeah, they're expensive, but they're worth it.
love that feel. Like even into the corners, they just get traction. field so if you can I was fortunate got a deal on these but even if you buy them new and keep them for a while I mean they're working on the new KTMs so cone valves on the new chassis look at that still got nice a little bit of bottom left these things good stuff two big thumbs up man i like this new chassis especially the cone valves i gotta try to sit on the 250